Hello everyone, it's uh, Rad. Uh, welcome to my channel Radku Tarot and uh, this is going to be a disclaimer that needs to stand in front of every video I do. So if you this is the first time you are here, welcome. If not, and should you wish to proceed, well, you can fast forward into the reading that it is ahead of this disclaimer. But as a disclaimer, I need to advise you that this is a, a general reading. Um, of the representative star sign and for that reason because tarot is very personal divination tool and does require narrative which in personal readings appear to be your question or the situation that you are describing uh, the read the general reading may or may not resonate entirely with uh, with your situation and if it resonates that great if it doesn't i do apologize for that but sh i'm yeah, and I wish you the best, you know, with some, with the situation that you're trying to cope with. But um, if you wish to proceed with the um, personal readings or uh, you wish to follow me on Facebook or on YouTube, you know, all, all of that or visit my website, all of that is going to be written in the description the box down below. And uh, thank you for watching in advance and uh, now lay back and uh, enjoy the video. All right, so this is going to be a Taurus Sun, Taurus Moon, and as well Taurus Rising. One second. A weekly tarot reading, October 29th, uh, 28th, excuse me, to uh, November 3rd, 2019. And uh, bear with me just a second, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards, and we can jump right into it. Alright, so the first card here that is going to be the Eight of Pentacles, followed which represents the uh, topic of your week, followed by the next one which stands for the challenges that you will have to overcome Taurus throughout the week, that is to be the Judgment card, the Justice card, excuse me, followed by the third one which represents the positive aspect of the week for you, that is to be the Seven of Cups, and the last one which uh, stands for the guidance that Taro is offering to you. Uh, Taurus, that is to be the Ace of Swords, so these four cards, guys, okay? All right, so that being said, the first one, which stands for the topic, that is to be the Ace of Pentacles, and it is catalyzed by the Magician card. We do have an passive enemies here, and it's quite sort of a peculiar uh, combination because it does speak that there are some subtleties or rather like some subtle details in there into your work that it has, that are yet to be attended. And uh, it looks like that uh, this week it is where you're going to struggle to find the means in order to do so while you do have the conscientiousness to attend to those details it is it will be kind of difficult for you to uh, initiate a, a certain plan of yours of a certain endeavor all right it looks like that there won't be like said either a means in order to uh, to meet an end or uh, there will be a, a lack of confidence or a, a lack of determinations lack of determinations or lack of convictions it is where you will say to yourself for example hold on a minute why should I do that, right? Uh, how this actually is serving any purpose whatsoever. So, um, that being said, certain things into your behavior may change. For example, you may close yourself. Uh, uh, example, you have tried to date up until this moment. You see that things aren't working out. So, you close your, yourself within yourself to figure out, you know, what are those details that you are missing, why things aren't working out. And uh, with as time passes, you know, I'm sure, although it will be a bit difficult, that you will kind of find out what, why things aren't working out, but it's going to take a, a bit of time. What you need to work over throughout this week, it is your personal uh, independence and sovereignty as well. Uh, what I mean in this, it is that maybe, you know, you have to listen to those around you. It will be very, very important, especially if we're talking about a teamwork 
career-wise or a, a friendship circle which you are feeling that there is a little bit of a distance in between you and those people or especially a, a relationship as well. You need to try to go through the ups and downs with the people that you cooperate and with the people that you are working with. The challenge here is going to be the justice and it is accompanied with the lover's card. So choices, choices, choices. That is uh, the challenge itself. We do have a an active supporters <clears throat> and the whole challenge, the whole problem, it is what those cards are pointing. And the problem itself, it is that you haven't structured your priorities, right? It is as simple as that with these cards. So when you kind of close within yourself, you have to think of, you know, why you're throwing so much into something that isn't working out. For example, you're throwing yourself into someone that doesn't want you, while you do have someone else who does want you, all right? Or you're throwing everything you got into a particular business endeavor that isn't working out, while you do have another business endeavor that can work out. So what these cards here point is that you are gonna struggle um, oppressing your acute uh, astute discernment upon the uh, upon the situation your clarity upon it it will have something to do with uh, personal ego and will have something to do as well with um, <clears throat> unwillingness one one to let go but these two cards a a very strong example of that we cannot have everything we cannot have all and in this week for you Taurus, it is a, a week where you have to decide what you need to let go of, you know, so you could have something else. And I cannot say that letting go of is going to be an, an easy process, but it is a um, important process. So you can rearrange once again your life priorities in a such a way that things are now start moving again. You put the things from out into a stir back again. <clears throat> so the next one, uh, that is to be the positive aspect of your week, that will be the uh, Seven of Cups and it is accompanied by the Tower card. Uh, the formation, it is a uh, passive enemies and it looks like uh, with these two cards, it is that you are going to avoid a, a serious, um, how can I say it? Um, it's not even crisis, it's more like a um, disruptions uh, into your relationships or into your career because whatever you do, there will be some sort of a, a force around you that will always prevent you to make a grave mistake, to make irreversible move, all right, or irrevocable decision, that is. And while you are not deprived of making mistakes, those mistakes will have a, a, a huge will serve a, a huge purpose for you in a sense of that you are going to learn a, re a lesson through a disappointment. So the more you got yourself disappointed in this week, the stronger you are going to become in regards to, the, to, to, to that endeavor, which it seems you are not quite ready to initiate throughout this week, October 28th to November 3rd. And uh, also this, um, this positive aspect is gonna ground you a lot, meaning that we will allow you to exert a structure in your life, even though you are not going, going to realize it at the start of the week and while the week goes. But when the week ends, then uh, what you're going to find out when you turn, turn yourself, um, when you swivel yourself around, it is that actually you have um, placed the things where they belong in your life. For example, your relationship, you know, your career as well. And that you have a, avoided a, uh, a serious meltdown in either of those fields without you even knowing how you did it. And the last card, uh, it is the Ace of Swords, which represents the uh, guidance the Tsar is offering to you which is accompanied with the Chariot card here. And we do have an, an active uh, neutrals in this particular case. So uh, these two cards are very strong in a sense of that sometimes things are not worth uh, pushing forward with, okay? What we said, 
we can't have everything. So we need to decide in our personal favor. We need to have that astute discernment in regards to what is substantial for us. Maybe, maybe you, Taurus, right now you're focusing on a thing that is not substantial and you are doing it from a, a pure stubbornness and from a, a, a pure ego, all right? And that is a the guidance that you need to uh, that you need to exert in this um, in this week. In other words, showing mental strength, mental ability to try to put an, an accurate diagnosis upon your situation. And while it may be difficult to withdraw, should you define that the situation isn't worth it, for example, this person isn't worth it, or, the, or this career isn't worth it to find the strength within yourself, to arm yourself with your iron will, with your determinations as well, you know, and to push on forward, to let go of these things so you can unblock yourself, that being said, to kind of like attend to the other substantial endeavors and responsibilities that you do have toward other people or above everything else, guys, towards yourself. Because you do only, you are the only one who cares the responsibility to make yourself happy, no one else. So that being said, Taurus, this was your weekly tarot reading, October 28th to November 3rd, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys, and we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.